The day starts very early for us with the morning run. That's me, Hannes, by the way, and together with Freya, I will accompany you throughout the day. The morning run takes place from Monday to Friday, and we run a lap around the castle grounds. And of course, that's me, right at the front, Freya. After the run, there's a real fight for the showers, which of course increases the motivation to run even faster, no matter the weather conditions. Now that we've built up a hunger after the run, we head to the dining hall for breakfast. Here we find a breakfast buffet, almost like in a hotel, with muesli, bread rolls, and anything else you could think of. After we're done and full of energy for the day, we can head directly to our lessons. There is always something going on in the chemistry class, and today some beaker is about to overflow. Our teachers really do everything in their power in order to motivate and educate us. Meanwhile, the seventh graders are rehearsing a play, showing off their acting skills in the Schrote. It's a well-known fact that breaks are the best part of the day. They go by especially fast in the Schrote. Here we can sit together with our friends and enjoy a nice chat. In case you get hungry again, there's the option to simply go to the dining hall for second breakfast. On Fridays at 10 a.m., we all gather in the auditorium for the school assembly. Here, all students are able to present ideas, give speeches or announcements, and stay up to date with the events taking place on the academic front, in the boarding school, and around the world. There is always a cheerful atmosphere, especially when a pizza party is announced for the winners of a wing tournament. But now I have to hurry to a council meeting. In our student council, the student representatives look over the shoulders of the adults critically, meeting and discussing concerns and rules in everyday life at the boarding school. There are many more committees and offices other than the school council and together, these form our own school government. Finally, it's time for lunch. I personally think that eating should never be neglected. A small yet meaningful tradition of Salem life takes place here, the Silencium. The gong sounds and silence reigns for a few minutes. After school, we meet back in our wings and we get to do what we want. Beat the best friend at the foosball table, relax on the couch, or look at who is once again making pasta with pesto. A true Zalem classic. But if you would rather be by yourself, you can just retire to your room. Just before we go to bed, we also sometimes talk across the courtyard, as there are different wings for the boys and for the girls. Off to one of the girls' wings, where some of us girls are getting cozy in our rooms, others are being sportive, completing a little workout, while some are listening to music or having a chat. Here at the table we do some much needed duke planning, we have no interest in getting lost. But now, I am taking you along to a few of our afternoon activities. Personally, I really enjoy carpentry. In the guild, we learn a craft from scratch and put our skills to practice. In addition to the carpentry workshop, you can also go to the blacksmith shop, precision mechanics, wood turning, pottery or sewing. But now, quickly to our services. Starting in year 9, each of us goes to a service once a week to get involved in the community and help. Here at the fire department, it can get pretty hot sometimes, but luckily, we know how to handle it. At the medical service, we learn how to save lives and how to behave in the case of an emergency. 
students interested in the medical field can gain some first-hand experience here. Another one of our many services is the Technical Relief Organization, where no forces and efforts are spared to find the right solution, even in complicated situations. Besides the guilds, muses and services, there are many other sporting and musical activities. Here in the swimming pool you can get a clear head by jumping into the water and swimming a few laps in peace. All musicians also get opportunities to thrive here in Zalem. Be it through orchestra, involvement in the choir, or playing the piano, there are teachers for almost anything that you could have an interest in. At boarding school, teamwork is a must, and this also holds true for our volleyball team. On our small private beach volleyball court, we can dig, set, and spike to our heart's content. We can't get around field hockey in Zalem. It has been the school sport since Zalem was founded and everyone takes part. The school team trains twice a week and practices their technique and improves their skills. In the goal, you can quickly break a sweat. We don't just exercise physically, but also mentally, by spending our homework time here in the study hall during the work hour. In this hour, we prepare for our next lessons and upcoming class tests. Even if you're not the most motivated, at least you're not working alone. Besides, you can also just relax and read a book before the show goes on after dinner. Zalem days are sometimes quite busy, but in the evenings we can work out one more time, either individually in our gym or practicing the wing dance for our summer festival. The boys of the school basketball team are also very committed and just like to sink one basket after the other. The good energy doesn't stop with basketball though, but continues in the clubhouse. After a long week, we certainly look forward to a little party or a nice get together, playing pool, with the pinball machine or darts. This really is a space for us to let loose and enjoy ourselves. But one thing is still missing. Every Monday evening, there is a wing meeting on each wing, which is led by the wing helper. Here is one in the Chemtand, together with the fifth graders. In these meetings, we discuss and plan the week. After that, we can go to bed. And so, an eventful day in Zalem draws to a close.